being general versus being specific. Now, you guys have heard me talk about this concept in terms of manifesting, how important it is to figure out not just what you want, what you desire to manifest, but also why you want to manifest that thing. And what do I mean by why? Well, I'll reiterate. Why is getting down to the very reasons of what it is that you want. You want to feel a certain way. That's really what it comes down to. The only reason you want to manifest a pile of money, the only reason you want to manifest that X back, the only reason you want to manifest a specific person or good health or anything that you desire is simply because you anticipate you're going to feel good. You're going to feel a certain way when you have that thing. So you've used that thing as a stand-in, as a symbol of how you want to feel, the state of being that you want to attain. Um, it's, it's either going to be that thing or it's going to be trying to get away from a feeling, right? So either I want a specific person because I equate love and having a specific person or having a specific person uh, express love to me in some way, wanting me in some way, I might equate that with the f general feeling of being loved. I might equate that with passion. I might equate that with uh, romance. Romance can, can also equal passion, right? I might want a pile of money because I like the sense of freedom that money gives me. So what I'm really after is freedom. That's the state of being that I desire, you see. So it's important to understand what it is that you want, but it's important to understand why it is that you want that thing. All right? So... This is where we get into the territory of how will it come to you? Because I always say this, don't try to figure out the how. Because I think for most of you out there, the how, trying to figure out with your nut, with your bean, with your monkey mind, it's one of my favorite terms, how something is going to come to you and when something is going to come to you is what trips most of you up, you see. And so here we get down to the very nitty gritty, the basics of what it means to be general versus being specific. All right, because if you're trying to figure out how something's going to come to you, if you're trying to figure out when something is going to come to you, your monkey mind, your bean, your meat computer can only figure out a few avenues towards your goal. Okay, so you can trip yourself up with those kinds of specifics. All right, so I want to manifest a pile of money. Well, I can only really conjure up a couple of ways that that might happen. I, would, I have to win the lottery. I have to get a job. Uh, a high paying job. I have to, uh, somebody has to die. Somebody has to croak and leave me an inheritance. Okay. Maybe those are the three main things that people can come up with to think of how could they possibly get a pile of money into their lives. Right. But here's the thing, guys, universal mind, your higher self has a much broader perspective on reality, on all of creation. And it understands all the infinite paths to get you to where you want to be, to get your desire to be in your physical reality, to get your manifestation. It understands it much better than your monkey mind understands it. So here's here's the trick. Here's the real trick, all right, between being general and being specific because you want to pull back from the how and the when. That's really about being specific, okay? <clears throat> the only time you want to be specific is when you feel good about your manifestation. You want to be specific about the details of what your life will be like when you have what it is that you desire. Now we're getting into Neville Goddard territory. Live in the wish fulfilled, right? Live in the end result. That's what you want to get detailed about and specific about, okay? When you do your scripting about how your life is going to be when you have the things that you desire, which means you're going to be in the state of mind that you associate with that thing that you desire, all right? You're going to feel freedom. You're going to feel peace of mind. You're going to feel loved. You're going to feel adventures. You're going to feel passion in your life. You're going to feel at ease, okay? That's what you want to get specific about. When you get that X back, when you get that specific person, what's your life going to be like? This is what you want to write down. What do you guys do every day? Where do you live? What kind of house do you live in? What are some of your favorite activities to go through? All right. What's your sexual relationship like? I mean, even that, this is important. Okay. So that's the stuff that you want to get specific about. But here's the thing. When you start thinking too much about how is it going to come to me? How is it going to come to me? When is it going to come to me? What you're doing is here, you're, you're off. Of course, you're putting out the frequency of... I don't have it yet. 
<laughs> That's really what it comes down to, right? When you say, how's it going to come to me? When's it going to come to me? You're really saying, it's like, it's like you're affirming over and over. I don't have it. It's not here. It's not here. It's not here. So now you're on the frequency consistently of it's not here yet. And of course, what are you going to keep recreating? Where are you going to keep shifting to? You're going to keep shifting to a reality where it doesn't exist, where it's not here, where you're waiting, where you're frustrated. Okay. So this is when you pull back. This is when you become more general about things. You don't want to think about specifics when you're feeling this way. All right. So how do I become general about that? I've manifested this before. I've manifested my, my ex before. So why couldn't I manifest them again? Other people manifest their exes back. Other people manifest specific people. Other people have won the lottery. Other people have, have manifested piles of money in ways that they couldn't have imagined that it could come to them. All right. How am I going to get that money? Well, I'm going to have to get a job. I'm going to have to rob a bank. I'm going to have to do these things. That's getting specific. You see, how does that feel? Remember to pay attention to how it feels when you think a certain way, when you say something, pay attention to your feelings. They're communicating with you. They're telling you whether you're on the right path or on the wrong path. One really great way to get in touch with your feelings and to calm the chatter in your mind, of course, is meditation. All right. And if you look in the description box, I have a free relaxation meditation available for you that you can download. Just click on the link in there. It should be in the top of the description box. Below that, you'll find another meditation, a guided get your ex back meditation, which I think I encourage you to check out as well. That one gets very specific. All right. That one relaxes you. So I think that you should listen to the relaxation meditation and get yourself in a relaxed mindset and then listen to the guided get your ex back meditation which will help you now get more specific about the end result because that's what that meditation focuses on so you'll find both of those in the description box below but you want to calm that chatter first okay and so the way to calm the chatter of course is to become general that's really what it comes down to all right uh, if you're worried about money well there's money everywhere Literally, there's money everywhere. There's money all around you right now. When you walk down the street or you drive down the street, in every building, there's some money. There's a bank. There's money in there. There's a store. There's money in there. There's people with money in their pockets. There's money everywhere. This is about looking at the world as being abundant, everything around you being abundant, and you are also abundant. You see, that's a general way of looking at things. I am abundant. The world is abundant. There's more than enough to go around. There's love everywhere. Where is there love in my life? There's love for my family. There's love for my friends. There's love from uh, my dog. There's love from my chinchilla. Okay. <laughs> I knew someone with chinchilla once. That's how you become general. And so when you are feeling yourself bogged down, that means you're getting too specific. When you're feeling yourself kind of on that dip, on that slide down towards frustration, towards impatience. That's when you're becoming too specific about things. That's when you're worried too much about the, the, the how and the when instead of the what and the why. Okay. The what and the why that's becoming more general, right? I want love. Why do I want, why do I want my specific person? I want to feel loved. Well, now you become more general. Well, there's love everywhere. Love is universal. Love flows all around me. Love is always available to me. I can begin by loving myself. I can begin by looking around in my environment to see who, where the, where's their love available for me now. Because there always is. It's easy to manifest. That's going general. Instead of, how, how, do, how am I going to get this? How am I going to get this? I can't be happy unless I have this. Wait a minute. It's easy to do this. Other people have done it. I know other people have done it. Also, I've done it before too. So it's easy to manifest these things. That's going general, you see. There's money everywhere. I live in an abundant, prosperous universe. That's going general. So going general is really important. So going general is really about slowing down the mind chatter. And like I said, meditation helps. So check out those meditation videos, or, uh, audios, right? But that's really what it comes down to. And it's just another way of saying pull back when you're when you're feeling too frustrated when you're feeling too impatient when it's been a long time coming and it feels like it's been a long time coming 
Any time that you feel bogged down, you feel frustrated, you're being too specific about your desire, meaning that you're worrying way too much about how it's going to happen and when it's going to happen. And the thing about that is, 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 you know, again, through the meditation, you're going to learn to be present in the moment because you're going to learn to be here now because all that mental chatter, it's either you're, you're lamenting the past or you're worried about the future. That's really what's going on there. Okay. And in either of those activities, whether you're lamenting the past or worrying about the future, you're not being present right now. You're not being fully present in your body, in your environment, in this physical reality, in this moment right now, because the only thing that exists is this moment right now. That's it. And what you do now and how you choose to feel now is what's going to inform, is what's going to show you, is what's going to determine what shows up in your physical reality going forward. That's what it comes down to. So you want to take care of that now. Okay. And, and don't worry about, here's another thing. Don't worry about if you're ha being too specific. Don't worry about if you're having some kind of um, <clears throat> doubtful thoughts or frustration. It's fine. Don't try to fight those things. Pivot. Okay. Pivot. And in those moments you can say, well, right now I'm worried about money and where's it going to come from and how am I going to get it? Hold on. Let me pull back. I'm being too specific about this. Let me pull back and let me be more general. Let me be more general. There's money all around. I've had money problems before and they, there's been solutions before as well. And I know, I know that for every problem, there's a solution. And I know that I'm not going to find the solution. I'm not going to attune myself with the solution or align myself with the solution by worrying about the problem. I know that if I get more general, if I calm down and I try to slow down the mind chatter, then the solution will present itself to me because the solution is there the whole time. I'm just not aligned with it. I'm not on the frequency of the solution. If I'm worrying about the problem, I'm on the frequency of the problem, not the solution. So let me go general for a moment. I've manifested great things before. I can do it again. Manifesting is easy. Other people do it. There's abundance all around me. There's love all around me. If I was able to do it before, I can do it again. I don't have to worry so much. I don't have to work so hard. I don't have to push so hard. The how and the when, that's not my problem. And and isn't that great? I mean, isn't that isn't that a relief? Isn't that just a, a tremendous relief that I don't have to worry about that, that I can leave that up to the universe, I can leave that up to my inner being, knowing that what I can what I imagined already exists because of the mere fact that I imagined it, it already exists, that reality is there. I put it into existence simply by imagining it. I don't have to worry about anything. I just have to get out of the way and allow it to come to me. You see? I can find things now to be happy about. I can find things now to feel satisfaction about. That's not impossible. You see, that's going general. And when you've calmed down, when you've relaxed yourself, that's when you can get more specific again. And again, get specific about how things are going to look when you have what you want when you feel the way that you want to feel, when you become the person you want to be, because that's really what it comes down to. Being the person that you want to be. I want to be relaxed. I want to be confident. I want to feel at ease about things in my life. That's really what you're after. That's the state of being and the state of mind that you're after in anything that you desire. So peel away those onion layers, get down to the root of what it is that you want. And again, make sure that you check out the meditation down below, free meditation for relaxation. And you'll also find a link for the guided meditation to get your ex back, which I also highly recommend that you get. All right. Thanks guys for watching. I'm Tarkon Manifestation Lab. Please like and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already and share this video with anyone that you think would benefit from it. And until next time, I wish you happy manifesting and bye bye. Thank you.